Metropolis is the latest film from Lomography, which came out last year, and it's the latest film in their Lomochrome lineup, which is a range of experimental films which are kind of fun to play around with. It's cool to see companies like Lomography uh, coming out with new films, and like Kodak bringing back Ektachrome. Um, it's, things are looking up for film photography, which is really exciting. The Metropolis film look is kind of muted, desaturated, a bit grungy, grainy, um, perfect for that kind of city environment. It can be rated between 100 and 400 and comes in 35 and medium format variations. I recently went out to shoot a roll in London, but unfortunately the weather wasn't great, so I left a Sony at home and I decided to take the GoPro and try a point of view video. So here are the video and here are the images of Lomochrome Metropolis shot on the Leica M6 with the Voigtlander 35mm 1.4 and I rated the film at 400. So those were the images, what did you guys think? Um, I think they came out a lot grainier than I was expecting and as you can shoot the film between 100 and 400 ISO, uh, perhaps next time I will try it at 100 and kind of compare the two and see how they came out. You can also buy this film in uh, 120 medium format which I've I bought and shot two rolls of and I rated one at 200 and 400 
and I'll be making a video about that soon so you'll be able to see the difference between the two. Um, but next time I think I'll try rating the 35mm at 100. I think for most people this won't be a film that they are into shooting, but I think the amazing thing about Lomography is that they make experimental films for, pe for people who want to experiment, um, which is really cool. So I think if you're up for trying something new and you're, you're doing it for the fun of it, then maybe this film is worth giving a go. As the name would suggest, it suits uh, city environments, and I actually really like the look it gave to the shots on the London Underground. And if you're shooting a project that needs that industrial look, then I think it's worth trying rather than uh, editing that look in post. This is kind of organic and it's already built in. Let me know below if you would give this a go and what you would shoot with it. I'd be interested to know how you would use this film, where you would take it, the kind of environments you see it working in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, feel free to click the like button down below. And if you've been enjoying these videos, then please uh, consider subscribing and pressing the bell notification so you can be told when the next video comes out. But yeah, that's it from me. Take care, lots of love and I'll see you soon.